Hi, I'm Emre from Density, and today we're going to talk about Density Atlas heat maps and how heat maps help you replay a day in the life of a space uh, and avoid plane rides to go and actually visit a space yourself uh, to see what's going on. And this is helping a lot of our customers hold their operations and real estate uh, design and construction teams accountable to more efficient use uh, of square footage of space, uh, and I'd love to show you how. So uh, we're in our SF office. Uh, I'm sitting in this phone booth over here recording this. Uh, and this is the typical Atlas view where we can see the number of people coming into our SF uh, floor each day. How does that impact meeting rooms and desk usage? Uh, a bunch of stuff that we cover in other videos. But for today, what I'm really interested in is what's going on in our cafe. Now, the cafe is one-fourth of our office, so there's a lot of square footage allocated to the space. And so what we're curious about is, is it actually being used well, or is there opportunity to actually uh, update some of these areas uh, so that they're used more effectively? So we'll zoom in on a typical week, uh, and uh, our employees come in Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and we can switch from this view that's showing the time that each of these spaces is used every day to a heat map view. And what this allows is for us to scroll through uh, every hour of every day and look at the activity on the floor. And immediately what we notice is um, there's a lot of activity throughout the other spaces in the office, our desks and meeting rooms, but very little activity in our cafe area, uh, even on you know our busiest uh, times of the day. Uh, there's activity at lunch, um, but outside of that, people aren't really working. Uh, from our cafe area. So uh, this is a problem because there's so much square footage here and a lot of our customers talk about this problem for their cafes, their gyms, uh, training rooms, and we're getting the ability to play back a day in the life of, of this cafe uh, that we otherwise wouldn't have um, aside from actually visiting the space ourselves. So uh, what we can do from here is actually add an observation of why is no one working from the cafe for our local teams to actually respond to? Uh, and based off of this, we can have a conversation around whether we should actually repurpose uh, this area for a different type of use or with different furniture um, to, so that it's, it's more efficiently used. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is if we go to a week where we have much heavier usage, we had an offsite this week, the week of April 2nd, and scroll through the week, uh, we can see periods of much higher activity in the cafe. And so this is an anomaly uh, that I'm interested in, particularly learning from our local operations teams of what happened um, that made this area so, uh, so active at this hour. So I'll add another observation here that says, why is there so much cafe activity at 1 p.m. on Tuesday? And so we'll save this, and this might be an opportunity to learn about what did the local team do uh, on this day that, that attracted a lot of people to the space? And is there opportunity to do more of that um, on our typical weeks? Or is that just a one-off event? So that's an overview of heat maps. And uh, excited to get your feedback. Please drop us a comment in the loom. Thanks so much.